¿Qué creen que hice para comer? Enchiladas de res. ¿Vas a hacer un chicken? Sí, vamos a hablar sobre Brianna porque eso me tiene preocupada. I'm Brianna, I'm 14 years old and I'm about to have my quinceañera. No hay de qué preocuparse, Brianna. I think you're doing a good job. Primero porque es mucho estrés, no sé. My mom and my older sister, they make most decisions, but I get my say in it as well. So far, what I have planned is I have a party bus. It's going to be like a red carpet in the entrance. The theme of my quince is a princess royal theme. My colors are pink and gold. El estrés va y viene siempre. Pienso que tenemos que, más que todo, seguir apoyándola y de la manera en la que podamos organizarnos para que salga todo bien. Pues sí, pero es que, no sé, Brianna, ¿cómo te sientes? I don't know, I feel nervous. Excited but nervous. So I've been thinking about my quince since I was little. I would always play um, dress up and I play princesses with my little sister. But I've been planning it for about a year now. You only turn 15 once and I got the choice of like a car or money, but I chose a quince because it's a special tradition in our family. So what are you most excited for that day? The surprise dance. The surprise dance. Yeah. It's gonna be cute. I do cheerleading at my school. I'm a flyer. My sister used to do it, so every time like she'd go to her practices, I would like practice as well and do like my own little stuff on the side. It's became easier to memorize dances, more confident in what I do. I'm excited to see how the guys do. Like I want to <laughs> see them like get into it, you know, like. I think they're starting to get it. At first they were so like stiff sick. and not enjoying what they're doing. And now every time I, the times that I picked in there, I think they're doing a lot better. Yeah, they don't really listen. <laughs> so it's hard to get them to all pay attention and like for the dances, it's hard to get them to get the moves down because they have trouble like learning it. Hey, there was an extra pair of shoes in the car. Whose are they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, um, you still haven't given them to yeah. him? One of my tremolanes, he was my boyfriend and we dated for about a month, but something happened and we broke up right after he had like bought all his tucks and all that stuff and he just decided not to be in it anymore. For sure he's not coming out? Well, the day he like left, when we asked him, he said no. He said no. So what, what are you gonna what do are we... about that? Are we gonna end up filling in that spot? It's a little too late to fill in that spot, so I feel like we should just leave it. But when are we gonna take him his stuff? Yo pienso que las invitaciones ya está su nombre. So ahorita ya es muy tarde para quitarlo de la invitación. We just have to let him. The invitations just leave him like that. So it's not. Gonna... It's like the day of. They won't, no. they won't really pay attention yeah, to no it. Yeah, no one's gonna The really tail, the only thing we can do it. is um, just write the name, the Chambelanes. I felt kind of overwhelmed and stressed because I didn't know what I was gonna do, if I should replace him, if I should ask him to be in it again. I felt stressed because I didn't know what to do. The only thing I feel really bad about it is that he already bought his tax, everything, and his mom paid really extra money to do like alterations and I feel yeah. bad. So what really happened? Yeah, I never knew the whole story about it. Well, Priyana can tell you a little bit. We were just, it was complicated, like we were just having problems. I have a lot going on because of like cheer and modeling. And but I think he took it the wrong way. He just felt but, like I didn't mean to make him like feel better or anything. But he Oops. just felt like left out because the other guys just talked to each he other. He didn't really talk to the other guys. No. And he felt like isolated, so. I'm just worried about the mom. How is she going to take this? Well, when, mom, when he decided, mom was there. Because they spend money, it. right? Yeah. On the tuxedo and all that? So well, we, we tried did, to like, see if his tux would fit one of the other guys, but he had altered it, so it didn't fit anybody. So at this point, I think you just leave it. leave it like that, and it's too late to let him be a big container. Yeah. As long as you talk to the mom and make sure she's not well, really upset. If, and you have, have to, to go and talk to the mom him. and take Are him you all still back. Him? I mean, I want to. Like, I think when I go, I'm gonna take her the invitation. And I think that would be just, the best thing to do. Yeah, make sure. You still say that. I mean, you still want to be friends, right? Yeah. Speaking of that, we need to work on our dance. I'm having a father-daughter dance and a surprise father-daughter dance. The father-daughter dance, it's important to me because it's a tradition at a quinceañera. Me siento como nerviosa. Why? Overwhelmed. Why? So that's normal though. That's pretty normal. I think this occasions put you in the spot where you're gonna be nervous, stressed out, drained out, because it's a lot of work, I know. But like, what's making you mostly like stressed in your life? Yo me siento emocionada porque hace un año atrás ustedes saben que estaba en el hospital y entraba y salía del hospital. Two years ago, we lost our house, and 
my dad lost his job as well. He left for a year, so it was just my mom, my older sister, and my little sister. And my mom fell into like a stage of depression, so she would always be in her room. She would be in and out of the hospital. I fell in the depression and anxiety. My kids were at home waiting for me, and I was at the hospital. Not having my mom or my dad there, or like my older sister, it was pretty bad because I felt all alone. I felt like I was responsible for everything. I'd have to take care of my little sister. I felt abandoned by my family because they were never there for me. That's why the father-daughter dance is really important to me because the one I had at school, I wasn't able to attend it. So having this special moment with my dad, it's like, it makes up for it. Y ahora que me dio, que tengo la oportunidad, Dios me dio la oportunidad de planear los 15 años de Brianna, siento una emoción. No sé ustedes. Pero como hablamos anteriormente, el pasado hizo pues, algo que logramos y ahorita, gracias a Dios, estamos llevándolo a cabo de una manera que estamos saliendo adelante. And I think we're all doing our best and we're all working together. That it's, it's looking good so far. Yeah. Yo me siento yeah. a gusto y contenta. Espero que tú también, Brianita. Oh, yeah, of course. I thank God because it was a miracle. That's why I want this moment to be unique and special for my daughter because a year and a half ago, I couldn't plan. And she would ask me, Mom, why don't we plan my quince? But I wasn't functioning. I couldn't function. So when they told me that I was going to be either put in a mental institution, it was like, wait a minute, I need to do something. So the support of my family and my kids, but mostly from God. That's what put me right now in this space where I am planning Brianna's quince. Solo recuerda, Brianna, que, la quince, que una vez en tu vida cumples 15 años, solo vas a tener que hacer lo mejor que puedas porque es únicamente una vez en tu vida. Y nosotros estamos haciendo lo mejor que podamos para hacer realidad tu sueño. Y como sabes yeah. que tu papá trabaja muy tarde para poder este, llevarlo a cabo, so, espero que te sientas feliz en este día y que hagas lo mejor. No, oh, yeah, I do. Thank you. It's emotional because it just brings me memories. So when I was her age, I had and six chambelanas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was there. Really? Yeah. Were so you guys dating the whole at that story, time? Or like, uh, he wasn't my boyfriend. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. He not yet at that time. No. He went oh, as, a, okay. as a... I was just a, a friend, friend a and friend. Uh, as a visitor, yeah. Well, basically, at that time, I didn't know... I didn't know who he was yet, like... Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he was, he was, he was very it. famous in the town, little town where we used to live, so... He was very popular around the world. one of those. But I never had the chance to... wasn't a No, my parents were really strict, and they didn't allow me to date. I was only 14, 15, so... I think... Everything that we've been doing, we've been, I would say, not struggle, but we've been really Making. overworking over because we weren't ready for your quinceañera 100%. Yes. Whatever you get, you gotta believe that we did our best to give you the best. We're celebrating because two years ago, I didn't even think my quince was gonna happen. Knowing that my quince is gonna happen, it's a chance for us to experience this together and have that special bond and just have fun and forget about everything. I just wanna thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing for me. All of you guys, because I know you guys are all putting your part into this quince. Anything for making family get I mean, come together and we will do anything, Brianna, for make your quinceañera. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Look at all those dresses. Look at that one. So today we're at Moda and we're looking for a pink dress that matches my theme of Princess Royal theme. Yeah. Yes, this is really oh nice. Oh my god, I love it. I want to try it on. Look, Brianna. It's so Eileen. Can we go say hi? No, maybe afterwards. So when I walked in, I saw Eileen and Lourdes and I was super excited but shocked because I wasn't expecting to see them here. Seeing her quince and how she planned everything and the stuff she did with her mom and like how she planned it with her mom inspired me to have one and do the same. Oh, look good. 
Look, guys, I like this dress. I want to try it on. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's so pretty, but it's very soft. 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 This one, I like it. The two piece, it's cute. No me gusta. Por qué? No me gusta. Se me hace muy, no sé, como mucha piñata. Okay. Y este de la manga, mira, Adriana. I don't like the sleeves. I don't want sleeves. Porque es con la manga así está muy antiguo. Yeah, sí, me da miedo. Just leave me like. Antigua yo y luego el vestido antiguo no. The one they had in front. That one's really pretty. Y este. Oh, that one's pretty. Y este. Demasiado brillo para ti. Pero está bonito. No más te lo puedes tratar. Sí, pero, pero mira, ella brilla. Su cara es muy bonita para tanto brillo. I think you should try it on. Just try it on. It's really pretty. Okay. Okay, I'll try it on. Maybe there's some over here. Oh, los azules. This one's really pretty. I like the style of it, but I don't really like the color. Y este? Oh, este this one's bien. really pretty. Sí. I try it on. I like this shirt. So I'll try this one. I want to try on this one. I really like the corset. I really like the diamonds on that yeah. one and the ruffles. The design of it. And then I really like this one because it's like the one in the front. I think that's good for now. If we need more, we'll see more. Pienso que de esas opciones alguno te va a gustar. Maybe we can ask to see if we can try them all. She's coming. All right. Ooh, mira, 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 El vestido está bonito, pero no, 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 está muy escotado, mija. Se te ve mucho la espalda. No me gusta. Pero está bonito, mire todo lo que brilla. ¿Qué do think? I don't know. It's, you guys are the picky ones. You look like Elsa. I'm sorry. Like Elsa. <laughs> From Frozen. You don't like it? No. I like it, but... The color is nice. I like it and it goes with my theme, but the color. I kind of want blue. What's, what's wrong with it? She doesn't want blue. She doesn't want blue? I don't want blue. What are you looking for? A pink color. Pink? Yeah. ¿Te gusta? ¿Sí te gusta ese color? ¿El color y el vestido? Yeah? A mí no. No. No, ¿cuántos? No. Uh, I, I like it. Mikey. <laughs> like, yeah. ¿Te gusta? Michael, ¿te gusta? Yeah, Pepe. ¿Sí? ¿Y like uh, it, Michael? ¿Sí? ¿Ya viste a Michael? ¿Le yeah, gusta? Like, yeah. <laughs> so. I think you should try on another Really? Another hour? Just want to go eat? No creo que sea el adecuado. Pues lo más importante es que ella, for her to be happy, she likes it. Pero hay más bonitos. Hay sí, más bonitos, pero pues... Deja que se pueda ver otro. Ahorita está emocionada con ese, pero hay más. Yo pienso que hasta que ella se compensa y que quiera ella, se sienta lo que es ese. Yeah. Es. Pues tenemos tiempo, es lo más importante. Tenemos tiempo todavía para hacerlo. So I'm walking out in the dress right now, and I really like the design and how it looks on me. No, no te queda. ¿Qué ven? ¿Te gusta? I like the style of it, but I don't like the color. El diseño está muy bonito, pero el color no va con lo que está. Yeah, I don't like the color. Yeah, exacto. El the color is not. Otro color. Sí, no. I like the design of the dress and how it looks, but. I can feel that it's not the dress that I want. The color of the dress isn't the color that I like. It doesn't give me butterflies in my stomach how the other dress would. It looks like a toothpaste color. <laughs> so no to the color? No. Beautiful dress, just not the color. Well, I really want to try on the other one because I really liked it. The pink one? Yeah, the glittery pink one. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it. Let's do it. Go try it on. We'll see. So after being in this green dress, I just want to go and try on the pink and glittery one because I really like that one. I feel like that one is going to be the dress, my dream dress. I feel like that one's going to be it. Hey. 
I love that one. So I'm walking out in my pink dress right now and I absolutely love it. I'm feeling like a princess in it. Mucho brillo, mija. Ese no te va a dejar brillar a ti, va a brillar el vestido. That's a lot of Está bonito, pero I think it's too much. Se trata de que brille tu cara, que brilles tú, no el vestido. El vestido es muy bonito, pero no. My grandma is telling me that the dress is way too sparkly and that it's going to overshine me. I feel like it's kind of true, but I like the fact that the dress is super sparkly and that it stands out. It has a lot, I don't know. Not even. I feel like, I don't know, I really like it because it stands out. It's your decision. You, if you like it, you like it. I can go with this one. I really like this one. I'm a Gotta go with her on that one. I don't like it. It's too much. I think it's too much. Nothing's too much for a quincey. No, Brianna. Never mind. I think budget wise, we can afford it. It's too much. You, you like it, Brianna? Do you, do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I really like this dress. But it's like, a this lot. is like, What's this is my part? dress. It's more than the budget that we have. No? Well, that's what we gotta look into, the money. Money-wise, budget-wise. Because budget-wise, we can't afford it. Your mama Oliva is the one that paying. Yeah, because your mama Oliva is the one paying for the dress. No. Mi bolsa está vacía, no alcanza. So I think that's, it's a really nice dress, yeah. It's really love, I like it. More cow. I feel like you can find something better. So no. Yeah, I think like the green that you tried on, I think you like the style of it. Why don't we ask if they have it in pink? Maybe that would be... I like that idea. Like the green one that you tried on before? With the flower. If um, they have the it in rose. pink, maybe we can see how it looks in pink. So you like the style of the green better than this one? No, I like this You one. like the style? Then like let's it. just find the right but color. If it's, too, this... if it's too expensive, then... I guess I can try on the green one if they have try, it in try, pink. Let's ask if they have it on pink and see how it would, I think it would be really nice on um, pink. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You can so go nice. and ask. Let me see. I'm kind of sad that I'm not getting this dress because this is the type of dress that I would have wanted because it's super sparkly, it's big, and it stands out and it would just put my book part. So the fact that the dress is too expensive, it makes me feel sad because this is the dress that I wanted, but I'm willing to try on the other one and see if I like it. This is my dress. I feel like a princess. I absolutely love it. Oh, cute. Yeah, for sure. It's really good. I, I love cute. it. It's my favorite color, so yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think your crown, too, blinks with everything. Color. It's beautiful. I'm so happy. Congratulations. Yeah, we wanted to say hi. So and you look beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let me get this sign because it says I said yes to the dress, and so did you. Let's take a picture. One, two, and I'm so tiny. I love her. She's so small. You can do it like that. Yay! Felicidades. I'm happy for you. Just remember, guess what? Okay. I think so. So you guys like this one? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. And when he came up to dance with me, it just made me feel my heart really happy because it was a special moment that we had together. Mm. Rihanna, I que hay que practicar and make sure I can walk. I want to practice dance. Oh, the I want to dance. Yeah, so proud. Yes, nice. All right. Very bonito. Yes. I had to wait be away all evening. <laughs> Let's find a way to get closer. This is the chance if I don't know about it, I can have to go like that. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. really nice. Yes, I like it. Yeah. That's good. I think we're done. We're done shopping, right? She wanted all puffy and big, that's good. That's nice. Yeah, I think that's good. Cry, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> a year and a half ago, I couldn't plan. And she would ask me, Mom, why don't we plan my quince? But I wasn't functioning. I love you, Mom. Me too, Mom. Just looking at her is like making her dream come true. 15 years ago and now she's right here and it's, it's a blessing. It's a gift from God, so I love her so much. I love you, Mom. We're all happy, right? This is the dress. Be happy. I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. Love you too, Mommy Lula. I feel like now that we found the dress, it puts everything together, it brings up, like the whole party together. Es la princesa más hermosa del mundo. Gracias. Una rosa. Hermosa. Yeah. I definitely found my dream dress today. I feel like a princess in it. Today we're practicing the surprise dance and the waltz. We've been practicing for a month now. Okay, so it's 6.44, where's Jose and Matthew at? Well, Matt, Jose said that he was on his way like half an hour ago. And Marie, Matthew, can you come here, please? Matthew hasn't picked up to any of us. I feel like the most difficult part about my kids' practices are having them all here on time. Hey, um, it's 6.45, where's Matthew and Jose at? Well, Matthew said he, I, he hasn't answered, but Jose said he was on his way. Okay, well, we're gonna start practice already because it's late. And if they're not here, we'll just try and we'll wait for them to get here, okay? Okay. All right. all right. Matthew wasn't responding at all, which that kind of made me really mad because I saw him today and I even told him, but maybe something came up, but he should have told me at least sent a text or something. Come on, guys. We're going to start practice. I don't want practice. Like now? Boys, come on. I don't want to practice, no. I have eight guys in my court, and I feel like having eight chamberlanes, it can be difficult sometimes because they don't pay attention. It makes me really frustrated. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to do the first dance. Counts only, we're not going to do the music, and then after this, we'll do the music, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm not that nervous because we've done this before, so we kind of have the dances down, but I'm excited to see how we do today. So five, six, seven, eight. We are dancing, move side to side. In and down. Make the diagonal line, guys. You guys are losing your beat. Make sure you guys are going at the same time. Look at Brie and Angel dancing, okay? All together. So since I'm a cheerleader, I was excited for the lift because I like being up in the air. Careful with the fan. The first time I was kind of scared because I almost hit my hand on it. All together. Way 
too much, Andrew. Keep going, don't stop. All right. Do you feel comfortable doing this part? No? All right, you're back. Angel, you're gonna do it. We're gonna change it up a little bit. So since Angel was like the only one actually excited to the, do the dances, it kind of made me sad because the other guys weren't as excited. They were just kind of like whatevers. So I feel like the guys are just kind of scared to try because of what the other guys might say to them. We're gonna wait for them to bring everybody that's coming out. So Can the we try the, my girl, my girl. <laughs> Yeah, right now. I picked Angel to be my main chamberlain because I've known him since elementary school and we were always so close as friends. All right, Angel, what do you do? When the music starts, what do you do? Who gets the chair? Okay. You don't have to dance. Just cut. not fast walk. Oh, you're kind of regular walk. Just a regular walk. How I always walk? Okay. How I always walk? No, 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 not how you always walk. A okay. nice walk. Yes, that's... <laughs> Angel does put his own flair to his dances. It can be a good thing and a bad thing because he has his own personality. <laughs> For everybody, we're gonna do My Girl. Yeah! Woo. My Girl. I like that dance, bro. Get into it, okay? Five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, keep going, keep going. Four, keep going. All right, guys, I have to go. I have a family emergency. Um, Kim, can you take over, please? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what happened? I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, I'll take over, it's fine. All right. No, but wait, what happened? I don't know. Did you want to call her and find out? Yeah, do you have her number? Hello? Hey, is everything okay? What happened? Yeah, dude, um, it's because my boyfriend got in a car accident right now. Is he okay? Or you don't know yet? Yeah, no. Well, I don't know yet. That's why I'm going to go right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be at practice next week. Alrighty then. Hopefully everything's fine. Alright, thank you. Alrighty then. Bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, I feel like he's okay. Yeah, we we'll hope he's fine. So about the waltz choreographer leaving, I'm, I'm worried about like her situation, but I'm not worried. The waltz, we kind of have it down already. I think it'll be like, it'll all be okay. Okay guys, come on. <laughs> Let's go. No wonder that I get to go. Come, this <laughs> come on, break time's over. Hurry up. My choreographers are a friend of my sister's. So I have three choreographers. They all take like different parts in teaching the dances. So I want you guys just to do it so I can see it. I just want to run through of everything if you guys remember it or not. So today, not only are we practicing the surprise dance, but we're learning more of it. Why? This is like the intro and you're like- We're taking it out. Remember that the first one is by itself and then the second one, and then it's the guys, and then the third one, it's the girls. So remember There's that change. three, the first one's silent. I put that in there so you guys know when to start. What? The three moments? It's the second one. Oh yeah, that's big, huh? I forgot it. Circular motion. Stop it. Just stop it. So do you guys like practice? Like do you, after this, do you guys like practice at all? At like, home? No. Yeah. So like this is the only time you practice? Yep. Can this you is tell? the only time. Can you tell? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah I could really tell. I could tell. You know like the 15, you know you only have like three, four practices left. You guys should be practicing it. Practice so it's twice. good for her, because it's her 15. Just saying. I set up for Brianna because she specifically chose all four of those guys for the surprise dance, because she thought they could do it. And then the fact that they're just not trying and they're just standing there, it upsets me and I know it upsets her and it frustrates her. So that's why it frustrates me, because I know it's her and it's her big day. 
I'm actually really happy that they had my back because usually when I tell them stuff, they don't really listen. But when they tell them stuff, hopefully they'll actually take it seriously. From the beginning. I can't do that. Stop looking down, look up. From the beginning with Are you looking at roaches or what? Looking at my feet. Ready? He likes to dance and he likes doing this stuff. But when he gets, when it comes to the point where he gets stressed about it, that's when he kind of gives up. Five, six, seven, eight. Second one. For the guys, you're gonna go this way. Off you wanna try to like, and you're just gonna like. Pull up your hair. You're just, oh, it does feel awkward. Yeah, good enough. One. The guys are already out. You're, you your are already left out. leg should be kind of up. I was getting really frustrated today because they weren't trying. They were, I understand that they were stressed as well, but they just completely give up. And it just made me really stressed out and frustrated because they weren't getting the dances. Two, three, four. Do it and it won't look bad. If you make it look bad, then it'll look bad. If you don't think you could do it, then you can't do it. If you think you could do it, then you can do it and it'll look good. So do it. You should look, if you feel awkward, you're, you are, you're doing it right. Like when I told Brianna, Brianna was like, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. And I said, no, you're doing it perfect. So do it. They struggle with groove a lot. I'm nervous they're gonna get stage fright. So like when they see everyone, they're just gonna forget everything. And it's gonna look like a hot mess. Yeah, that's what I'm nervous for. I'm really nervous for it, because <laughs> we're all struggling with it. But hopefully after practicing and practicing, hopefully we get it down. Rihanna, how do you feel today? Um, kind of nervous. Porque yo estoy bien nerviosa. <laughs> Why are you nervous? I'm just nervous it because depends. I don't know. It's just the day of, and there's so many things going on, and I can't have control of everything. Today's the morning of my quince, and I'm feeling really excited. I feel really calm right now. I'm not too stressed about anything yet. <laughs> my mom's kind of stressed out trying to get everything together right now. I do feel overwhelmed because I'm kind of like in charge of everything. And then plus, the biggest surprise is the carriage. Well, that's going to be for the grand entrance. So I have to run from one place to another place. So it just makes me nervous. But don't stress. The more you stress, the more it's going to make it more like. So I hope you are just relax and enjoy it and just have fun. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Hi. So what's that? Oh my God. Hey, are you excited? Yes, I'm really excited. Hi, Araceli. I know you're busy. <laughs> Hi, sir. Hey, hi, best friend. Hey, boo. How are you? Good. Oh my God, how cute. I love that look. So, am I going to be doing your hair? Yes. Aw, thank you for booking me. So, after we met Eileen and Lourdes at Moda, we reached out to Lourdes and asked her if she could do my hair. How do you want your hair, Brianna? So, there's a video. I like that. It has a tutorial and everything, so I already know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how it comes out. It's so cute. It was so nice meeting you guys that one day at um, Moda. Moda? I know. No. The concert. I was excited when I saw you guys. Small world, huh? We were watching your episode a day before. Really? And my daughter had a dream about you guys. Shut yeah, up, Yeah, she really? was telling it. She's like, I had a dream we met. Eileen and her mom. And then there we were. Hey, dreams do come true. <laughs> <laughs> like, so cool. And then how did you guys end up uh, with, how did they end up with, how did they end up with you, Arjun? Yeah, then, a friend or, oh yeah, through Maricela. Mm -hmm. But Roger never responded back. Of course, back. Roger. Probably was busy or something, I don't know. So then was I was stressing out and then I kind of like, I just thought about him again. I'm like, I'm gonna Oh, and you him. reached out. You know that um do you know that Roger was Eileen's choreographer for her? Um, I know I dance? was when we were watching the video and then you were waiting for Roger to come and he didn't show up. We'll be able to go over there. Hold on. Brother, yeah. I've been texting Roger y no me contesta. He's not answering me. I don't know what's going on. I text him earlier, no reply. <laughs> Can you explain that, Roger? Can you please answer that question? Why didn't you show up? 
that day was raining. I was sick. I was so I was sick seriously, and I, it was raining. So I was like, you couldn't oh. make it. Yeah, I couldn't make it. Yeah. What happened so, when you guys found out that like he wasn't gonna come? Well, that's when I became the choreographer. She became the choreographer, the everything. So. That's when I knew I could take charge of stuff, okay, and I and me and Lily were know. all like on it. I did pretty good, right? Did you see that? Episode yeah, or no? we saw it. Right? I like, did good. That was good. That was so a good I think move. I need a little bit of that today because. Yeah, see, that's what you have to do. Just I don't know up. what's going to go through the day, and I'm just. I want everything to go okay, but you know, you don't have control of everything, so. But like, if something doesn't go good, like, just don't stress about it. What are you most excited about, Brianna? Brianna, are you sure that was the right address? Yeah, which one did you send? This one right here. And they really can't find it. They've been getting lost. So I'm getting my hair done right now, and I just got the news that some of the Chandelanes are having trouble finding the house. I don't know why, because we sent them the address and they could easily just click on it, but for some reason they can't find it. He sent me an old picture. That's not the right address. I know. He clicked on the... Will you call him? But the rest aren't saying that they're on their way, so I'm not sure. Tell him what to do. We'll call Andrew and see if we can give him directions. Do you know about the other Chamberlainers, if they're on their way yet? They didn't say anything. It's just Andrew right now that said he's coming and he's lost. OK, well, we still, we still have time. They have to be here at 10.30 and it's 10.30. Before you, know, before you do anything, just give him the directions on getting up our truck. She did already. I did. He said he got lost and I sent him to the border of Mexico. <laughs> and I like, no, that's not it. So then they came back. The then, border of Mexico? Yeah, like he clicked on it and that's what it took him to. So lately I've been really frustrated with them because they haven't been listening. They're always late. So like the fact that they're late and they can't find the address, it's kind of even more frustrating and stressful. Okay, do you know where now, or are you still lost? I'm still lost. Okay, did you get off the 60 on Archibald? He probably doesn't even know. This is normal, like, because they usually never pay attention to so them not knowing where they're going or where they're at, it's normal. Okay, tell your mom, where's your mom? Where's your mom? Parents are there. Yeah, where's your mom? Hey, watch your language, because you're on speaker. He like calls us on that name. It's like it's rude. Like he shouldn't be doing that. He should have a different attitude. Is that your man, Brianna? Your man? Oh, no. oh, I was listening to that you. You don't have you don't have a man? No. Yeah, I was hoping that they'd be on time and they'd be like on it, but they're not. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the back. So the curls are, are a little bit tight, but let me tell you why. Because I, um, if I go too loose, then your hair is going to be all over the place. They're in the phone. Yeah, and I still kept your length because I know that you wanted the extensions. But with this, um, what's going to happen is throughout the day, the hair will start loosening up and then you end up with like beach waves. So I feel okay. like that's kind of like what you, I know you didn't want them too tight. Yeah. But um, this will work out right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you like this for now. And then Roger's going to start your makeup. I'm going to start your mom's hair. Make sure you grab something to eat, okay? Because okay? that's important. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so what are we doing today? So I kind of want like a pinkish gold look. What color is your dress? It's my, pink, right? Yeah, my okay. dress is pink. Perfect. Do you have a speech ready, Brianna? Mm, no. <laughs> Are you gonna do a to speech? Make, yeah. I'm gonna do a speech like thanking everybody for coming. I was meaning to like working on like to work on it, but I haven't had time. It's good time wise that all this just like you know how it is, just everywhere with practice, with cheer, with modeling, modeling with practice for the quinceañera and homework and it was it's just too much. So but I can like breathe. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. It's gonna be nice, okay? I can feel you. <laughs> That's what moms are for, okay? You're gonna be okay. It's a mom thing. I think it's just a mom thing because I'm feeling you right now. I can 
totally feel your stress. I just want stress. this day to be good for Brianna. And we waited 15 years for this day to come. I just want the best for her and for her to enjoy it. And Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, it's so pink. I love it. You like it? Yeah. Hey, so um, have you heard from the Changalama? They're all here, Brianna, but Angel's not here. Do you, do you want me to call him? I don't have his number. Yeah. Like, how, what are you going to do? He should have been here, like, yeah. it's, it's an hour like, ago. Like, almost like that. He should have been like here a long time ago. Ugh, drama. Frustrates me. <laughs> no, it always happens with something. I even told them 10.30 so they could be here on time. Hello? Hey, are you already on your way? Hey, I just said you said you're like, it's been my way to Mexico and I'm going to get lost. Really? Okay. Did you click on the address or did you type it out? Well, I clicked on the address and I should have sent you. My mom is bad. Okay, look. Where are you guys at right now? Oh my god. Should we have my mom? I hate you. Oh my god. I really like you. Oh my god. I actually thought you weren't here. Like, I was about to, like... Can I do my hair? <laughs> so, everybody's here? Yes, okay. everybody's okay. here. Okay. All right, we're good. That's one less thing to worry about. Okay. If you get it, get it. If you really want it. You do what you've got to do. Make it come to life. Let it into your heart. Always follow it. Can I see it here with you? Make a pretty face even if you don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, I really like this. I love how the makeup in here came out. Oh my god, I love it. And I love the makeup. Good job, Miss Frank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. Thank yeah, you. Like yeah, it. I really like it. All right, look at that dress Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Have fun. I'm gonna leave in a couple days and I'm, I'm not gonna see her for like a really long time. You are so beautiful. And today's your day. I want you to enjoy. 
all this was for you. Okay, I want to let you know you look amazing, you look beautiful, everything is this pretty. And just realize that you're so beautiful. And this is the beginning of your life, and I'm very happy for you. Okay, I love you so much. Enjoy your day. I'm truly blessed with the best parents ever. I love you guys. I love you guys all. Aww. I'm feeling really excited right now. It's like, it's finally coming true. It's the day. I'm ready to have fun and go party with all my friends and family. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Hey, let's go party. <laughs> I didn't expect a lot of people being here in the ceremony. Looking around, I saw family members that I didn't know they were coming, and friends, and then it made me feel comfortable, like this is gonna go good. Pedimos, Padre, que, que tú bendiga, Señor, mi Dios, esta ceremonia. So the ceremony just started, and I'm feeling very emotional. Sobre todo, Padre, que tú llenes de gozo, Señor. De tu presencia, Padre, en la vida de Brianna. Seeing my daughter turning 15, the day came already, you know, 15 years ago I had her in my hands, and now it's like she's become a woman already, so I kind of got sentimental. Yo sé que uh, ha habido un poco de tensión por el tiempo, y específicamente yo quiero pedirles en este momento que hagamos una oración para que Dios tome control, ¿verdad?, de, de esa emoción. Okay, ahorita. Que haya paz, ¿verdad? En este lugar y que todo eh, salga, ¿verdad? Eh, bendición, porque es lo que todos deseamos para, para Brianna. As I like looked at my mom, I saw her that she was getting emotional. The fact that all this is happening and that's so stressful for her, I feel like sometimes it can be too much for her. It scares me because it makes me think that maybe she could go back to getting an anxiety attack or like going back into like a depressed stage. Then again, I know that after all this is finished that she's going to be relieved and she's going to be happy that it all went good. Ahora que llegas a los 15 años, debes, debes prepararte porque, uh, para tu vida futura, porque vienen retos, ¿verdad? Yo creo que cada, así mismo con los, con los retos, ¿verdad? Con los privilegios que vienen, también vienen responsabilidades como jovencita. Yo sé que vas a enfrentar muchas, muchos retos, pero el Señor ha prometido que Él estaría contigo, aún en los problemas difíciles de tu vida. Busca de Él, agárrate de Él y todo te irá bien. Que el Señor te bendiga. Just the advice He gave me, how I, like, as I'm getting older, I need to respect myself and God's always going to be there for me no matter what. It was really special to me. When everybody was praying for me, I felt really emotional because I realized that they made me feel special, that they made me feel that they're always going to support me and that they're always going to be here for me no matter what. Thank you for the Señor. So the ceremony is over and we have one more party bus ride to go and have fun with. So the party bus was really fun but it was so squished. Like there's people on top of me, people sitting on my dress. I wanted to be able to stand up and dance but I wasn't able to. It was really cramped but it was so much fun. surprising Brianna with today? The biggest surprise is the carriage with the white horses. That's going to be for the grand entrance. What happens if you guys get off schedule today? We had a schedule, but I'm trying to still have a plan to figure it out how I'm going to do it. The carriage lady texted me that they're running late because there was an accident on the road. What's going on? Why are you so worried? The party bus. It's supposed to arrive here at 5. Okay. And we, I think the carriage is arriving at 6. So why wait, do we wait, do wait. that? Carriage? Yes, a carriage with two horses. 
because I wanted Brianna to have a grand entrance. The thing right now is the time framing because I wanted the grand entrance okay. to have like with a carriage, okay. but the party bus is not gonna stay longer than that. Wow, you give me so many surprises. So what do we do to make it happen? I don't know. First, I wasn't counting with a carriage. Why didn't you tell me before you guys got it? That's how he reacts when I don't tell him something. You know, he's kind of like, why didn't you tell me? You always do things that without, you know, inform me. But I did it because I, it was possible. Right now, the party's going on, and whatever we have in our hands is gonna, we're gonna enjoy. Okay? Just don't, don't, don't stress too much where you're not gonna enjoy the party. So whatever happens, it's gonna be okay. Brianna doesn't know about it. If it doesn't happen, that she won't. That's like it didn't happen. So, so let's don't worry about it. Let's just enjoy what we have. It's gonna be okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's just go enjoy the party. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's go. Okay. So we just got off the party bus, and I'm about to make my grand entrance and I feel really excited. So I'm seeing my venue for the first time and I absolutely love it. It's everything that I wanted for my quince. So what stood out to me the most were the centerpieces because they had like a chandelier kind of look and all the flowers on top were really pretty. I'm really happy that my family and friends are arriving because some of my family, I haven't seen them in the longest time, so them coming here, it's really special to me because I'm finally getting to see them and experience this special day with them. I thought we weren't gonna have a mariachi band anymore, but when I walked in and I heard them and I saw them, I was super excited because it was like a surprise to me. I feel like it makes my quinta experience even better because it makes my family and friends enjoy it even more. Judge my heart. Look, scared. I'm kind of nervous for the dance, just because my chambelanes are even more nervous than I am, so they're making me nervous. Can we practice it? Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, right away. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, right away. Oh, you guys can't stand there and wait. Oh, they have the rolls, that's why. They have the rolls. Uh, we're practicing the vibes right now. I'm nervous for everything, the lift, the dance. Well, I keep st stepping on my dress and oh my god. I'm right here! Stressed. I'm practicing. Being stressed. What? Go! Oh, Just go! You can't do that in the dance. You can't do that. Go back, guys. Go back so you guys don't hit the thing. You can't do that during the dance, so you just have to go however. Whenever we would practice the vault, that would be like the most perfect one. We'd have it down like perfect and it'd be like really smooth. But when we practiced it here in the salon with my big old dress, it just, no, it, did, it didn't work. Just oh, go! Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh my God. Just take no. the hurdles. Bro, I can't grab her leg, bro. You had my leg. You literally had me. Grab her leg, get under, grab her leg. You need to go under, just go under. Right here, guys. Get ready. Go. Go, 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 go. Ready, get set. Okay, y'all can't be that crazy. Y'all are so rough. It's hard, bro. You guys panic. You guys look like you're trying to ret, like tackle me down or something. So we're practicing the lift right now, and the boys are just like running at me, trying to pick me up, and it's just not going too good. Don't be, don't be too rough. Oh, she's falling back. Just calm me down. Guys, you make it seem like it's something. Just calm down, do it, and slowly. Don't get, don't get panic. We're going to change it time. They just have to slow down, take your time. You, you guys, guys get, know, because you guys rush. You guys panic. run and grab all like you that. You need to no. relax. Just relax and, and lift her up. Y'all are like trying to like push me. Oh, I'm over here not. like, whoa. Hey, <laughs> got this, Brianna. Like my There's like a lot of people here, so it makes me feel like I feel stressed. Like honestly, like stress. I keep saying stress, but I feel stressed because I'm scared that we're not gonna get the lift. Okay, 
Okay, go. Okay, go. From there. There you go. See how easy it is? See, that's better, but take your time. Don't go like all the crazy. Dance. It's just like crazy. People don't know what you guys are doing. It's Come you on. guys. Let's do it. We need to get this down. Okay, can we practice the dance? Which one? Oh, practice Any. No, I think you. Don't complain. Come on. Lean, lean. You gotta lean with this. stressed and frustrated but Eileen came up to me and she told me not to stress about it and her telling me this made me feel a little relieved because she's gone through this before. I know it's gonna get stressful. I can feel your pain. Trust me, feel you. But you'll be okay. Just take a deep breath. Don't cry because your makeup's gonna be yeah. You look pretty though. You look good to you. <sighs> I'm nervous for you but it's okay. So as I'm watching Brianna's practice I can tell that she's really nervous and like she looks like she doesn't like want to admit that she's nervous but I can see it in her eyes that she's really nervous and she just wants to like like be positive but like it's your king today and she's really stressed. I know I can't stress. If I stress they stress. Yes. And, yes. and they're boys so it's worse. But you'll be okay. Just breathe. It's just a dance. I'm just not gonna stress anymore. Yeah it's just a dance. By the end of the day it's not even gonna be worth it. You're good. Okay, breathe. If anything, if you need anything, let me know. I'll be here. She's trying to impress everybody else and be strong for everybody else because she doesn't want to stress everybody else out, but she's stressed and she needs to let like it out. But I think she's trying to hold it in as much as she can. So I just felt like I needed to go up to her and talk to her because, you know, I had my quince, so I know what she's feeling right now. And hopefully the rest of her day turns out. I mean, she's doing fine. She looks pretty. So it's all that that's all that matters. I'll be fine. I'm not gonna stress. Whatever it is, whatever it is. This a little. Just when they step on my dress, it has me like, oh my god. But like I get it, my dress is big and how up to me telling me that she had to show me something. I didn't know what she wanted to show me, but I was kind of like frustrated because I had a lot going on. You found it down there. Yeah, but Sorry, what? Sorry. Brianna, we have a surprise for you. No way. No way. Don't even think that's not yours. No, that's not yours. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just brought you here because I wanted to buy you a Starbucks. Oh, so. It's not even a Starbucks. Oh, no, so cute. Oh, you're going to cry. Oh, look at it. 
So I just saw the carriage and when I saw it, I had an idea that it was for me, but my parents were like, no, it's not for you, no. It's for somebody else. We're taking you to like Starbucks or something. And I was like, no, that carriage is for me. And I was just so happy. So my mom just surprised me with this carriage and I did not expect it at all. I almost cried because <laughs> of how happy I was. Oh my God, this is so cute. I had told them that like, oh, imagine like, riding a carriage to my quince and they made it come true and I'm super thankful for that. I, I was so happy, I almost cried. ties into my theme because it's a princess royal theme. I absolutely felt like a princess in that carriage. Yeah, I felt like a princess because I had a big poofy pink dress and then the carriage especially is what ties everything together and the horses. I think at the end everything it was worth it. Uh, if I could go back and redo it, I would go back and redo it again because it's an amazing experience, even though I had so struggles and overwhelming and stress, but at the end, it's, it paid off. Bueno, que sí, señores, señores, queremos pedirle un fuerte aplauso para recibir a nuestra quinceañera. So we're about to perform the waltz right now, and I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I don't know if my if it's gonna go smoothly or if I'm gonna keep tripping on my dress or how the lifts are gonna go. Before the waltz started, I could see that the guys were nervous and they felt bad because they kind of cried. I know they were trying, they would try their hardest, so I told them to just have fun and whatever happens, happens and that just have a great time and just improvise if anything went wrong. Face kind of showed it that I would mess up, but I tried smiling through it to show that, like, even though I fell, that I was still having fun. Vamos a tener pues el baile de con el papá e hija. Así que vamos a darles un fortísimo aplauso, señores, para nuestra quinceañera y su papá que va a tener un baile especial esta noche para todos ustedes. Two years ago, we lost our house and my dad lost his job as well. He left for a year. I felt abandoned by my family because they were never there for me. When my dad was gone, we missed my school father-daughter dance. But as I was doing it here, it totally made up for it because it was just a special and emotional moment for us, and it made it made up for it. She's so happy and very, very emotional right now. During the father-daughter dance, me and my dad were just talking and he was telling me how I'm always going to be his little girl and how he's always going to be here for me. And he, I just thanked him for everything that he did for me and we just told each other that we loved each other and that he was happy with how I turned out. Love, love. Love. Thank you.
participa hoy es una noche especial para ellos buenas noches a todos hoy están celebrando con nosotros primero que todo el, este cumpleaños de mi hija hemos compartido 15 años muy felices muy bendecidos de parte de Dios porque hemos salido adelante yo pienso que Brianna es una niña muy especial me siento muy contento ahora pasa a ser mujer, señorita les agradezco tanto que estén aquí apoyándonos porque hoy hace 15 años que tenía a mi hija en mis brazos y ahora ella es una señorita es un regalo de Dios. Brianna, yo quiero decirte que te quiero mucho, que el Señor me ha dado el mejor regalo del mundo. Te amo con todo mi corazón y te deseo lo mejor en este nuevo camino que vas a tomar como señorita que ya eres. So, I want to thank you all for coming to this special day of mine. There is no words to explain how thankful I am, and most importantly, I want to thank my parents for making my quinceañera become a reality and making it become a dream quinceañera of mine. For more quinceañera content, make sure to check out Austin's TV's new quinceañera channel. Bye.